Hello there, Taylor with the Malti and Power Reports. A lot to talk about. Let's jump right into it. This is Ian, Cyclone Ian. So Ian is quite a massive storm and has quite a massive eye as well. There are, what is it, hurricane warnings, gale warnings, strong wind warnings in effect per Fiji. So in their advisory, they talk about for this area, expect very destructive winds, average speeds of 105 knots with gusts to 145. That is a big wind right there. Heavy rains, of course, flooding possibilities, and yes, damaging heavy swells, phenomenal seas, stuff of the sort. So this is a big, massive storm that's coming through, and I believe, however, that it is expected to weaken, as you can see in the future, but going to stay at about the intensity that it is, at least for a little bit of that thing, is massive, massive storm. So Ian is the worst thing that's out there right now. Otherwise, what do we have in effect? We've got Colin. Colin is far enough out from land that there's not really any land hazards on that one. And Colin not really expected to get probably close enough to land to cause too much of a threat, even in terms of potentially high seas. Might not even be close enough for that. So that's Colin. Then there's this thing over here, post-tropical depression number five. This thing never did officially reach tropical cyclone status, I believe. Or... Did not have ever officially reach tropical cyclone status. And sort of speaking of which, here's another one of these areas where you've got the JTWC is calling this a low chance of tropical cyclone formation, whereas the JMA is already tracking this as a tropical depression. And that has happened quite a bunch out in the Northwest Pacific, where the JMA starts tracking it, and then it never apparently officially reaches tropical cyclone status or whatnot. So, yes, that is what is happening. So we've got Colin, Ian, unnamed tropical depression, and post-tropical depression 5. That is what is happening in the land of tropical cyclones right now. In the land of U.S. severe thunderstorm weather, there is actually stuff to talk about. In fact, there's a mesoscale discussion in effect. However, 5% chance of a watch being issued on that. Marginal threat for a few severe wind gusts and hail weather watches, unlikely. In general today... Here's your map showing the probability of severe winds, 58 miles per hour and greater, which to give that in comparison, what Ian was an average of 105, is it? 105 knots. I believe 58 miles per hour is 50 knots. So 105 versus... So just to put it in perspective, that 50 knots is considered a severe wind. It's either 50 or 60. Now I can't remember. Anyway, that's so Ian, quite a big storm by comparison. Just as a comparison there hail wise tiny-ish area but still an area this would be the probability of one inch a larger hail and tornado wise it's all the way over here so two percent chance on that so wind chance is by far the greatest in terms of area that's covered and then hail probabilities over there and tornado probabilities along the coastline tomorrow though it's as high as a 15% chance and touching all of these different states. But after that, I'm predicted to calm back down. Calm back down severe thunderstorm weather-wise and they how. SevereWeatherTV.com is the official homepage of the screencast. Wikiwix is W-I-C-K-E-D-W-X.com and Cyclocane is C-Y-C-L-O-C-A-N-E.com. And that is it for today. And hopefully you're staying safe out there.